Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows system drive to another drive. So let's say you want to upgrade to a larger or faster drive, or maybe even your hard drive is failing and you want to move everything over to a different drive before it's too late. Uh, you could use this tool to do so. So doing a system image drive is different than just doing a regular disk clone or partition clone because it needs to be bootable in order to load Windows. So you need to make sure you use an app that could do that. So we're going to be using a program called Casper 11. So they do have a free 30-day trial and it's fully functional. So if you just need to clone a disk, you could do so within that 30 days and do it for free. Or if you like the program and you want to use some of the other features, uh, you could buy it. It's $60, I believe, for a personal license. Okay, so we're going to run it here. And then you're going to have to continue the trial if you're using the trial. All right, so we need to go to this section here, create a bootable backup. And then we need to add the drive for the destination here, so back up to this drive. So we need to add our destination drive here. So let's look at disk management real quick. So disk 0 is our C drive here with the Windows partitions. And then this disk 1 here with 100 gigabytes of unallocated space, that's where we're going to clone it to. All right, so let's click on this. So disk 2, that's our secondary drive there. We have some extra options here. So if you want to update the backup on a regular basis, you could do that. I'm going to turn that off and send some alerts when completed or turn off the PC when done. So I'm going to click on backup now to start the process. And now you just have to continue the trial here. Then you have some options down here if you want to send an alert or turn off the computer when completed. All right, so I will pause the video and then be back when the cloning is complete. All right, so the clone is completed. It only took a couple of minutes, but this is just a test computer with nothing really on it except for Windows. So close this out. Now let's take a look at disk management again. Okay, so now we have our old disk here. That was 80 gigs. And it had an 80 gig system partition. Now we have 100 gigs. So the thing I like about this program is it actually uses the extra space if you're cloning to a larger drive because some of them won't and you'll end up with an extra partition of free space and then you'll have to expand the drive to use it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is shut down the computer, take out this 80 gig drive and leave the 100 gig drive and see if it boots to this larger drive. So I will be right back after that. All right, so we got a Windows symbol there, so that's a good sign. All right, let's log in. Okay, so let's check out disk management again. Okay, so you can see we're using our 100 gig disk and the 80 gig disk is gone and everything looks good. Windows is running, so looks like it worked. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Casper 11. And then, like I said, if you just want to do a one-time clone, uh, you could do it with the trial version. But if you like it, then you could buy it for, like I said, $60 and then use it whenever you like. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.